I'm here with my lovely friend Ruthie. Ruth's an amazing photographer. We've known each other for about nine years. Nine or ten years, a bit scary. That makes you feel really old. Mm. Um, and on shoots, me and Ruth are often, well, always surrounded by incredibly gorgeous, sexy, young models. As we approach our 30s. Aren't you 30 already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In um, denial, I will be. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like now more than ever, we want to kind of feel fresh faced a bit more confident, especially if we're working on set around these amazing women. Um, and often, I mean, I don't know about you, but I would rather have more time in bed. Mm -hmm. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start doing makeup. On the way to a shoot, I often do my makeup in the back of a taxi or get there early in my car and pull up and just do something. Um, really so quick. Yeah. And often the way I think I put it on too heavy or put the liquid or the powder on at the wrong time and it all slides off or cracks and so yeah I'd love to get the opportunity to learn a few tips. Amazing, okay. So maybe we could do something like a quick 15 minute makeup which could be done with minimal brushes, um, like an instant glow, healthy, maybe spring inspired? Amazing. Yeah. You need to cover these spots too. <laughs> oh and you bit your lip too. Oh yeah, I've started biting my lip so I'm kind of anxious. Thing. Oh. And um, yeah, it's been bleeding. So yeah, oh, okay. I need to. This is an entirely vegan uh, hyaluronic acid. Mm, it smells good. This does is it moisturises the skin, but it also leaves a lovely emulsion, which acts as a primer and will smooth out your pores and your very fine lines, which Ruth has very little of by when she's turning 30 in a few months. Oh god. Okay, this I picked up today. So, remember we've got 15 minutes, we're in the taxi. <laughs> I'm just going to rub this on with my fingers, it's so easy. Do you need to leave some time between doing all this and then putting the foundation on? Ideally, it's good to put moisturiser on and leave it like 10 minutes mm -hmm. um, just to let it let it really sink in. Um, mm -hmm. So how about when you get out of the shower, you pop some, pop your, pop your serum on, pop your moisturiser on and by the time you've got in the taxi, you'll be ready to do your makeup. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I just like that it says, ooh, feeling younger. Are you feeling younger? <laughs> feeling younger already. <laughs> Not super matte, not super oily, it's just a very good day to day. As I get older, I do actually like seeing my skin a bit more and appreciate okay. when I have nice skin days, so I guess I don't want to completely cover everything. Okay. It's high pigmented, but it doesn't feel too cakey on the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's going to cover any blemishes, but not to feel too heavy. Yeah, that's perfect. Sometimes okay. it's nice to see the odd freckle as well. It is paraben free as well, which is good, and of course it's vegan and cruelty free. And I'm actually using. Um, one of the new MJ foundation brushes. Ooh, yeah. I've seen those yet. And I'm just pressing the foundation into Ruth's lovely glowy skin. Do you actually think I have nice skin? Yeah. Ruth's yeah, got lovely skin. Oh, look that way. That's, you can't really see that you've got much makeup on there. And you can also really see the glow coming through underneath. So, what are your brushes made out of? Yeah, so, these brushes are actually made out of fake squirrel hair. A lot of makeup brushes are actually made out of cats, out of squirrels, even goat hair. Is it not very clear on the box? No. Then? You only know that it's not, because I put vegan or cruelty on it, but you, if it's not got that on, like I would definitely Google it and, and check. Uh, but yeah, it's extremely common. So it's definitely worth doing a bit of research and finding vegan brush brands. I would yeah. never wear real fur on a jacket or anything. Yeah. I actually shoot for Peter anti-fur campaigns, but for all I know, I've got real fur makeup brushes or I'd yeah. go to buy one and just not realise. Exactly. Uh, it's waterproof, uh, which is amazing in your eyes because that's the kind of place where you're a bit oily, so mm -hmm. it would stay. Um, and it's completely matte as well and, and under the eye is somewhere that you'd want to, to stay matte. So I've popped a little bit under the eye, you can apply it straight from the bottle. You can put it on your face before foundation as a primer. 
you can add it to beauty blenders if you're even blending the foundation or concealer um, and also spray it on afterwards to set the makeup and to add like a glowy uh, dewy finish but also good for the middle of the day because if you kind of feel a bit cakey you just spray a little bit of that on and it just freshens you up oh amazing yeah Let's have a look yeah so tell us more about what you've been doing with peter Ooh, um so i shot an episode of britain's next top model with them hello ladies hello. i'm senior vice president of people for the ethical treatment of animals better known as PETA. Our motto is animals are not ours to eat, wear, or experiment on, or use for entertainment. So today we need to get some shocking and captivating images. Next, I'm going to go in with. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this on the upper of the cheek and slightly edging up along the cheekbone. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a rusty peach. And I'm just going to buff that in using my fingers. Because remember, you're on the, in the taxi. Just give me a smile so I can really get the upper of your cheeks. Love using fingers. We just want something glowy and fresh and real. I've just added a little bit of the highlighter the tops of the cheekbones here and ever so slightly down the centre of the nose and also on the temples just to give Ruth that glow that she deserves. I actually don't feel like I've got any makeup on. Really? It feels really light, just like moisturiser. Just take an empty mascara wand and we're just doing a little upwards motion and really brushing the brows through. You literally take the nib and brush it through the brows to get the right shape. Um, this is more of a kind of like definition brow rather than it be for like a sharp finish. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's quick and easy, but it's really good for day to day. However, on you, I'm going to use an angled brush. Okay, so I'm going to take this is my new uh, makeup brush, which is called Archie. I'm going to do is start a half a centimetre in on Ruth's eyebrow and I'm going to kind of draw an upwards motion up to the arch of Ruth's brow and then back down I'll to kind of create that little bit of a sharpness. Guys, if you're not following Ruth already, she is the most insane photographer. Ruth Rose photos on social media and then my website's ruthrose.co.uk. We've worked together for nine years, right? Yeah, I think so, nine or ten. Yeah, how old? We were spring chickens, weren't we, when we started working together? Yeah, I reckon nine years. Next up, we are using the Blink Brow Eyebrow Gel. And this is in the colour Cinnamon Spice. So what does the gel do? So the gel is going to add a swish of colour mm -hmm. and it's also going to hold your brows in place. We just brush the brow up with the brow gel. And this is also so quick and easy. You could even just use this by itself. You don't have to use the powder underneath because this has already got a bit of colour in it. So if you want just a really quick brow, just add a little bit more colour. And to keep the hair upright, this is a vibe. A little bit onto Ruth's eyelids. So, what does the concealer do? It will um, hold pigment much better, the pigment will show up stronger and it will also last a lot longer. And I'm going to go for this colour here. We're going to go super simple, we're literally just going to do a wash, I think like a pale gold tone all over Ruth's lid, working up to the Crease and open your eyes then. Next we're going to curl Ruth's eyelashes. Get right in to the lash line and do a few squeezes and kind of work your way up to the end of the lash. I am a huge, huge fan of curling eyelashes. I feel that so many people just have quite long but straight mm -hmm. lashes and just having a few pinches of a curl it just opens them. 
And what the primer does is it thicken and lengthen the lashes ready for their coat of mascara. So really load the lashes with the product because then when, with the mascara we can then kind of brush it all out and make them smooth. And this is really going to give quite a, like a false lash effect. Okay, so next. I'm actually using this as a finishing powder. So that's what I want to know about finishing. Okay, so if you go for a mineral based product, it will reflect the light and it'll just give you a really nice glow. It's acting as a powder, but it's not looking cakey. I've just seen there's a photo of me in the background. <laughs> that's Jake the rabbit. Jake's been on many shoots before, hasn't he? <laughs> Cutie. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jake. I know. He was the main reason that made me start thinking about animal welfare. So it's great that everything we've used today is vegan and cruelty free. Yeah. Um, I always say that you can do small areas of good with things like animal welfare without having to tackle every aspect of your life. Um, but slowly I want to do all the different things and having a makeup bag that's cruelty free would be amazing um, yeah. and vegan. Yay! <laughs> also, we're going to go for a really strong spring lip on Ruth. No, I'm telling you, this won't suit me and look good. It I'm, will look good. I'm casting the professional and there's no point doing this if you don't try something new. Exactly. So. Here we go. So, Ruth loves tanning, don't you? She's always been a big tanner. Yeah. I kind of wanted to roll with the whole really bronzy look, lots of warm tones. So we've gone for warm tones on the eyes, we've gone warm bronze, we've gone for warm blusher. So to kind of roll with that, I wanted to go for a really warm bright. We're just going to put a little bit of powder over Ruth's lips to mattify them and make sure that the product really sticks to the lip. I bit my lip last night. It was a really great idea, um, but I don't have an infection or anything too gross. Um, but yeah, great timing, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's totally fine. If it was an infection, I would say don't put anything on your lips. Give them some space to breathe and also you don't want to cross-contaminate. However, I can see it's literally just a cut. You've got a little one there too, you've been biting your lips, haven't you? Yeah. A new... She always does this. A new, so a new anxious twitch I've picked up. <laughs> so we're going in with a V shape. And when you draw a seagull mm -hmm. on paper, that's kind of what we're going to start off with. So like a, like a little seagull, a little wing here, go down to its head and back up again. So that's what we start off with. And then I'm going to carry the line on, creating a little bit more of a rounded shape on my lips. <music> then I'm going to find the bottom of Ruth's lip. I like to do um, little tiny motions, like little bits, rather than going all the way around. I'm so, so excited about this. Ruth looks terrified. And kind of fill in the entire lip area. I'm just doing very small strokes. This way you've got more control. You teeth look amazing! 